Meanwhile, harsh cold temperatures can put an extra strain on the homeless population. You know, many people think of the homeless during those freezing days, but that extra strain is also harsh in the heat of the summer. KTV's Clayton Anderson spoke with area organizations about the resources available and those needed during the summer months in Siouxland. What we're seeing during the summer months is that people's um, disposable income is, is being stretched because of inflation, especially around food costs and housing costs. So we are seeing an uptick in the number of meals that we serve to the community and to our, our residents and guests here. According to the executive director for the Gospel Mission, the shelter sees 75 to 100 people, as well as providing close to 10,000 meals in the month of June. For prices increasing to operate a shelter and to serve lunch, the Gospel Mission says the best thing you can do is donate. Cash donations are used to support the various ministries that we have with feeding and sheltering. Uh, we have buildings to maintain, we have vehicles to maintain that help us with our deliveries and so on. So uh, cash is the best way that you can support us. The mission provides lunch services as well as a shelter with a Christian mission. In order to get in the shelter, people have to blow for their blood alcohol content. And the hope is to get those who are struggling back on their feet. The Salvation Army of Siouxland provides a place for homeless people to get out of the summer heat during the day, but does not have a permanent shelter. They also provide access to their food pantry and say their biggest focus is food security. We're always accepting food donations. If you want to help the homeless population, we are definitely looking for those easy, ready-to-eat meals. The Salvation Army of Siouxland provides a program called Pathway of Hope, where people can meet with a caseworker to discuss housing, jobs, and a variety of other life necessities. In Sioux City, Clayton Anderson, KTIV News 4. Starting July 9th, the Sioux City Warming Shelter will alter its services due to funding. It will be open during the warmer months for those with disabilities and for families with children.